every projection matrix can be diagonalized and it will have ones and zeros only on the main diagonal. How can we show this? Well, if px equals lambda x, so that x is an eigenvector and lambda is its eigenvalue, then lambda x is px, but p is p squared, so that's p squared x, which is p times px. But px is lambda x, so that's p lambda x. You can pull the lambda out, so that's lambda px, and px is lambda x, so lambda lambda x, and lambda squared x. So lambda x is lambda squared x, so lambda equals lambda squared, which means lambda has to be 0 or 1. Those are the only eigenvalues of a projection matrix. Now, if p projects onto w, uh, then pv equals w, say. And p squared v is also w. Applying p twice doesn't change anything. It's redundant. So pw equals w. Now, if you break v up into w plus z, then we know that pv will be pw plus pz, and pw we know is w. Uh, but we also know that pv is w. So we get w equals w plus pz, and pz therefore is zero, which means that any vector can be broken up into a component that is an eigenvector with eigenvalue one, and a component that is an eigenvector with eigenvalue zero. Since everything is a sum of eigenvectors, that means you can diagonalize it. And since the eigenvalues are zero or one, you always get something of this form.